Hi, and welcome to Q&A with an expert. My name is Tulane Krobler and I am a PhD candidate at the University of Pretoria, Centre for Virus and Nurses, doing research on rabies. Today I'm going to answer questions posted by our friends from the National Zoological Garden Zoo Club on rabies in domesticated, captive and other animals. What is rabies? It is a contagious and fatal viral disease of dogs and other mammals. It is transmitted through the infected saliva to humans and this infects the nervous system and brain. As a scientist doing research on rabies, what sort of work do you do on a daily basis? So primarily I'll be busy in the lab, I'll be testing and screening the samples that we have collected, and I'll also be developing and optimizing some of the method methods that we use. Other than that, I'll be in my office working on writing our papers and results that we have, and we also go on field work occasionally. Where do you get these samples from? So we get our samples across the whole of South Africa and also from other countries in Africa. Um, since our group mainly focuses on bat work, we go to specific locations where we know bat roosts are and we sample them and that's what we bring back to the lab and test. Should people in the city be less concerned about catching rabies than those in the rural areas? So although cases in cities are rare, they do occur. So people should still be cautious when approaching wild animals that are present. What is the first thing a person should do when they suspect that their pet has rabies? So if you suspect this, the best thing would be to isolate the animal from other animals and humans and then call your veterinarian who will come out and assess the situation and your pet and also the vaccination is through. Now let's talk about some rabies myths and facts. Okay, so water kills rabies. So the virus cannot survive in the outside environment very long and this includes in water. Although theoretically, if an animal, a rabbit animal, comes and drinks water and some of its saliva is in the water and another animal drinks from it and it has a wound in its mouth, there could be a chance of possible infection. So, dogs staying at home with their families cannot catch rabies. This is not entirely true as wild animals can still interact with your dog inside the house or outside. That's why it's best to make sure your dogs are properly vaccinated. Thanks for listening to Q&A with an expert.